So this is going to be another video on the basics of synthesizers and Reason. Uh, the first video we talked about, uh, we talked about oscillators, uh, the basics of what makes up an oscillator. Uh, then the next video we talked about filters, the basics of what filters you see most often and what they do. Um, and now we're going to get into modifiers. Um, to start off we're going to be talking about envelopes and that's what this video is going to be about. So envelopes are a, a type of modifier. Um, most commonly, uh, you'll see two that are already attached to different parameters. For example, um, most devices that you'll come across, they'll have an amp envelope and a filter envelope. Um, the amp envelope is affecting this um, gain amount, and this filter envelope is affecting this frequency value. Um, you can see these envelopes in all these uh, devices. Some, sometimes they'll have, um, well these are both amp envelopes, here's a filter envelope. Uh, this has an amp envelope, a filter envelope, and it also has an additional mod envelope for um, additional modifications. Um, the, this has a filter envelope and an amp envelope. Uh, and an XT has an amp envelope, mod envelope, uh, it doesn't actually have a filter envelope, um, but you can set a mod envelope to control the filter. So, um, and the filter envelope and amp envelope. So, anyways, you you'll see this in pretty much any device that makes sound, um, because this is really how you make it so it's not a constant tone or how it has a pluckiness or uh, a, a whole series of different um, sort of effects. To start off, I'm going to talk about this amp envelope. We'll talk about the filter envelope after I explain what an envelope does, and we'll just experiment around with it a little bit. So I'll take bypass this so we don't have any filter. So currently, uh, we have a sound. Let me go ahead and actually choose the Thor. Uh, this is the sound of an initialized patch. Right now, it's just a, a sawtooth and this amp envelope. So we ha we have generally we have four parameters. We have attack, decay, sustain, release. Um, there are a, a few additional ones that will appear in some envelopes. For example, this mod envelope has a delay and doesn't have a sustain. Um, and this global envelope has a de delay, a hold, as well as the ADSR. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll talk about those two after I talk about the, the main four. So, looking at this, this is a basic visualization of what an envelope does. Um, you can imagine that this gray line right here is a parameter of being turned up, it's turned down, and then turned all the way off. Um, and these parameters set the the basic sort of shape and timing of this, although the the rough shape stays the same. Um, so in most cases, uh, envelopes can be triggered by multiple things, but in most cases they'll be triggered by a note being pressed or the gate. Um, so th that's what this diagram shows. Is this is actually an amp envelope? Um, so when you press a key down, it will turn the volume all the way up. Uh, over a period of A, so A is the length of time, so if you, for, for this example, um, this A is very far down, so after 1.2 milliseconds it's at full volume. Uh, so you hear it getting to full volume very quickly. After it reaches full volume, then over a period of D, D is another time, um, in this case it, we have uh, 4.35 seconds, over this period of time, it will be turned down to the level of S. S is a value as opposed to a time. So after it reaches full volume, um, after 4.35 seconds, it will reach a volume of negative 21.8 decibels. So we'll hear that if I hold a note down for more than 5 seconds. So now it's at a constant tone and will stay at this volume as long as I hold the note down. And that's what this uh, sustain level is. Then once I release the note, then it will then decay again all the way down to zero 
over a period of time of r. So this is what gives it a sort of reverby sound. Um, right now this reverb is pretty much all the way down, but if I turn this up to like four seconds, then whatever, whenever I release my finger from the key, it will ring out over 6.24 seconds. My note, my finger is off, and it's still ringing out. Um, and so th th that's the basics: attack, decay, sustain, release. Attack, decay, release are all times, and sustain is a level. Um, to add in delay and hold, the only thing, that you, basically, if they were to be drawn in here, delay would be um, would set a time before this attack starts uh, going to effect. So before the envelope actually is has an effect. So uh, if you had a um, delay of 1.92 seconds, after you press the key, it'll take 1.92 seconds until the attack it gets pulled up to full volume. Um, so if this was connected to the amp envelope, which it's not, um, then you'd hit a key, you wouldn't hear any sound, and then after 1.92 seconds, then it would go up uh, in volume quickly. Um, and then hold, they actually lay this out nicely in the order that it actually has an effect. So hold is in between the attack and decay, because uh, hold is the amount of time that it stays at full volume. So if I had hold up uh, to 2.72 seconds, um, then on the amp envelope. Then when I play a note, it will stay at full volume for 2.72 seconds before it decays down to the sustain level. Uh, I, <laughs> hopefully this isn't getting uh, too uh, complicated or anything. I'm trying to keep it simple um, with with what I have to show you. Um, but anyways, th that's the basics of what an envelope is. So that was just the amp envelope. You can control, you can make these envelopes go to anything. Um, so, the most uh, co the most common other envelope to have is the filter envelope. So if we turn on this filter envelope, uh, you can hear it affecting a little bit. This uh, amount knob controls how much this envelope turns up the frequency. So if I turn this up all the way, then it's going to try and turn up the frequency knob all the way. So if I ring this down, then you'll hear a... It's, it's basically doing this. Um, in this shape. Um, so again, if I bring this all the way up, a, a common way to get a plucky sort of sound is to bring the frequency knob down and bring the decay way down, the sustain all the way down, and the release down. And you get this sort of plucky sound because it opens the filter for a very short period of time. There's still volume because the amp envelope is up, um, but the um, I get the frequencies get cut out really quickly, so that that's a way to get a sort of more percussive sound using a filter envelope. Um, moving on from there, I'm going to turn this off again uh, just to uh, give you another example of how envelope could be used. Um, going to this mod envelope, we're going to say this mod envelope affects oscillator one pitch. Um, I set that's amount how much it controls. Uh, I'll set it to a middle value. I, I don't want it to be too extreme, but it, it's still going to sound fairly extreme. So now it's going to turn the pitch up in zero milliseconds and then come down over 4.35 seconds. So that's the sound that we get. Or if I have a negative amount, then it's going to be doing the opposite. It's going to be uh, starting down low and then bending up. If I have the attack, then it will take a bit of time to bend down, and then it will bend up quickly over a period of uh, 316 milliseconds. So anyways, uh, that's the basics of, of an envelope. I'm going to leave it there for now, uh, because, again, you can get fairly involved. And um, we'll, I'll, I'll talk about it more when I d actually design sense, um, but hopefully you have a better understanding of what, what these knobs actually do and what we're doing when we're messing with them.
Anyways, hopefully you got something out of it. Thanks.